Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back. I thought this Memorial Day, this was a fitting article to go over. It's from the Daily Wire. Statue of Civil War hero rededicated after mob tore down original in 2020. Those of you that are following this craziness in 2020 with the riots, the BLM riots, and all the crazy stuff and the statues that were torn down, they all said it was because of racism. All the Confederate statues and Lee and all of them have to come down. Well, this is in Wisconsin. And it's not about racism. It wasn't about the, the, the terrible things that were done in the past. It's about tearing down the entire culture and society. And this is a great example. And I'm glad that they did this. Let's read on. The statue of a Civil War hero was rededicated in Wisconsin on Sunday after a mob tore down the original during the summer of 2020. The sentence of Colonel Hans Christian Hegg a Union soldier who died from wounds suffered the battle at Chickamauga in Georgia attended the ceremony. The state has sent no braver soldier, no truer patriot to aid in this mighty, mighty struggle for national unity than Hans Christian Haig. The Wisconsin State Journal wrote of Haig in 1863. The valorous blood of the old Vikings ran in his veins. Haig's statue in front of the state capitol building in Madison which is the epicenter for progressive nut bars in Wisconsin. I was in Madison 2014 playing the U.S. Open, uh, the chess uh, national tournament. It's a nice town, but unfortunately it's run by progressives, but I digress. State Capitol building in Madison was toppled during demonstrations in Wisconsin following the arrest of a local activist who had entered a restaurant with a bullhorn and baseball bat. Protest over the arrest that night turned violent as a Democratic state senator, Tim Carpenter, was beat in another historic monument called Ford was torn down. If you remember in 2020, they actually defaced the monument to the so-called colored troops in Massachusetts, the one that the movie Glory is based on. It's, um, it's pretty bad. It's, uh, these, people, these people suck. They truly, truly do. The phrase, black is beautiful, was spray-painted on the base of Haig's statue, a Union soldier who supported abolition. The statue's head was lost, while the body was thrown into a nearby lake, but later recovered. Jesus. A restored statue of the Norwegian immigrant turned Civil War colonel was commissioned and placed back in front of the Capitol building, according to the Wisconsin State Journal. Here's my question to you in the state of Wisconsin. It's in front of your Capitol building for Pete's sake. Why were they allowed to do that? Why weren't some people arrested? Why, why, why? I want you to think about the story of Hagen and look at the statue through a different and wider lens. Wisconsin's Veterans Museum said at the ceremony of the director. Hans Haig is an exemplar of the Norwegians and the Norwegian community for sure, but he represents much more than that. And it goes on. It's quite a long article. You know, I said, oh, my gosh, we heard about the statue. His heart sank. I thought, why? And then I thought, what would the colonel do? I know I want, I want to be angry. That's not what he would have done. Several groups, groups including the Women's Veterans Museum, Sons of the Union Veterans, of the Civil War and Daughters of the Union, veterans of the Civil War took part in the ceremony. This guy supported the abolition of slavery, took part in battles in Murfreesboro, Peterville, Island Number 10, before dying of wounds sustained at Chickamauga. Visit Chickamauga can see a monument at the location where he was shot. This is what these morons don't get in BLM. It was white people. They were abolitionists. That, that thing about uh, uh, abortion. Well, unless you're a woman, you have no say. Well, if you use that stupid logic, then the white abolitionists in the North and some in the South that owned those slaves 
heck, had no say in the expansion of slavery. It's a stupid argument. And it was most part religious and or rich white men that were abolitionists for years prior to the Civil War. Sound like a racist country to you? You may be a window he wrote to his daughter during the war, but you will never be the window of a coward. Identical statue of Haggis in Norway, Wisconsin, where he lived prior to enlisting in the army and is buried at the Lutheran Evangelical Church. Another can be found in his birthplace in Lear, Norway. Three statues. Must have been a hell of a guy. Wisconsin man Rodney Glendering has a trial in October over his alleged role in the destruction. There was a lot more than one. First of all, to be able to get to the statue is a sacrilege. So they had to redo the head. They found the body in the lake. Who knows where the head went? These morons. It's sitting in some idiot cellar or some moron that lives in his mother's basement, probably. But I think this is good. It's a little bit of hope that even the, even the very lefty city like Madison, Wisconsin, is putting the statue back to honor people that gave their lives for this country, in this case, the unification of the country to keep it together. And I thought this was a fitting story on Memorial Day that finally, finally, maybe, the we're turning the curve to get away from this madness. We'll have to see. I'm encouraged by this. So, as we say in Italian to the and Mr. Haig, salute. And I want to wish all the veterans a happy Memorial Day. And if you ask any veteran who the heroes were, they say it's not them. It's the men and women that didn't come back. Those are the true heroes. And if those of you that are down on the U.S., those of you that are down in the military, take a walk through Arlington National Cemetery sometime by yourself. And look around at all the gravestones. Those men and women all died for you. To be able to do the things you do. And even criticize the soldiers that died. That is true democracy, true liberty. And our constitutional republic. Think about that the next time you protest. And do stupid crap like this. Show some respect for the people that gave their lives for you so you could live free and prosper. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.